Welcome back to ABC 7 at 4. The race for Texas's 23rd Congressional District was a close one, with Republican nominee Tony Gonzalez winning over Democrat Gina Ortiz Jones. The 23rd District of Texas takes in the most eastern portions of El Paso County, all along the border to San Antonio. That was the seat held by Republican Will Hurd, who chose not to seek re-election. Tony Gonzalez joins me now, Congressman-elect. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, and I appreciate you having me on. Mr. Gonzalez, the Republicans have maintained a hold on the Senate. The, we have a Democratic president coming into office. And in the past, with a Democrat in the White House and a Republican majority in Congress, it seems like a, not a lot gets done. So as a freshman congressman, what specifically do you want to accomplish in your first term to help the people living in District 23? Yeah, first, I want to I wanna help bring this country back together. You know, there's a healing process that needs to happen. And part of that is, is us coming together to fight for the issues that are important, like getting through uh, COVID together, you know, like our public schools, like ensuring our borders protected, like immigration reform. I think there's going to be an opportunity specifically in the House. You're going to see the House of Representatives that is going to be as close a margin than it's ever been. I think there's going to be an opportunity for reasonable, sensible members of Congress to really empowered, be empowered and get some legislation done. Well, okay, that's a lot on the plate to begin with as a freshman congressman, but specifically, is there one thing you would like to focus on? Yeah, look, I had I had a call today with the governor and the lieutenant governor from this Let Us. And for me, it's about representing this district. Some things that make sense to me is, uh, is uh, transportation and infrastructure. Look, I think there's an opportunity to get people back to work and to really help out there. But step one, one thing that I can do that I've already done is reach out to members, uh, elected officials, and go, look, I want to work with you. I want us to come together, and I want us to work. And regardless of what party you stand with, I want to be known as a member that is going to work with people to get things done. Congressman-elect, the Affordable Care Act is something most, if not all, Republicans in Congress want to dismantle. You have a lot of low-income people who live in District 23, so what is your plan to help them with health care and protect the benefits they have? Yeah, part of it is to ensure the next form of ACA has uh, pre-existing conditions, that it's covered. Pre-existing conditions are covered in that. Look, I have a pre-existing condition. Many of my constituents have pre-existing conditions. So that's step one. But you're talking about a problem set that is very difficult in a, in a Congress that is completely broken. So first, we have to heal. We have to come back together. And we have to realize, as Americans, we have more in common than we don't. As the pandemic continues, there's a stalemate on whether Americans should receive another economic stimulus package. What would you do to make sure the people of the 23rd District are getting the financial help they need? Yeah, Americans are hurting. They're, they're just trying to survive themselves, their families, their loved ones, their businesses. So I believe in another package. I believe in another stimulus package. Uh, and I look forward to getting on the Hill and working through that, right? A package that includes relief for families, a package that includes, you know, PPP loans for small business owners. I think that was helpful and that'll work. So uh, I look forward to, to getting on the Hill and getting that done. Congressman-elect Tony Gonzalez, thanks very much for your time this afternoon and best of luck to you in Washington. Thank you again for having me. Happy to do it anytime.